What's up everybody? Welcome to another video of BT Willis Garage. Today we are installing the Big League Lawns Checkmate Striper Kit. I've got it mocked up already and I wanted to explain a few things about the process so far that were helpful to me. Um, first off, here's just a quick idea of the tools needed. You're going to need a Bud Light Lime, a, just kidding, you're going to need a 3 8 drill bit that's safe on soft metals to mild steels. Um, what we're going to be ultimately doing is drilling through this plate here, which seems to me to be about an eighth, maybe a quarter inch steel. Um, I had a kit laying around of just random wrenches. Um, so what I ended up pulling out that worked were a three quarters and a 19. Um, and what you're going to want to do is pretty much grab either side and tighten these up. So when you get the kit, and I know i got a lot of movement here, but if you watch my channel, you know that's me, so sorry about that. What, um, what it comes with is a diagram that looks like this, and I realize that that can be pretty confusing for some people. Um, so the cool thing is they do give you the end, you know, this is how it's supposed to look, look for your particular mower. If you're lucky enough to own a 757 John Deere, congratulations, they're awesome, but I doubt that's the case for most people. But I just wanted to give you guys a visual, so check it out. There's a washer. These come screwed in and the brackets are all separate. So when you initially get it, it's just these bolts and this piece and all of that is located in bags that come in this big box that's pretty heavy. Um, so you're going to need to back these out and mount these brackets here. My recommendation after doing all this is to go ahead and get these tightened up. So you'll notice you have one that's flat and then two holes here that connect to the one with the hole in it, which the holes for this. So I just wanted to give you guys on a John Deere 757, I'm about to drill into this joker and it's gonna sit like that. I hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna line that up, get my pilot holes together and then um, go ahead and mount it. Of course, I'm gonna take the checkmate off while I'm mounting it. Um, but anyway, I wanted to just give you guys a visual. I know a lot of people are visual people and um, that's where I got so far. So I'll be back. Wish me luck on this drilling part. Makes me a little nervous. Here we go. All right. Had to pick up on the next day. I ran out of daylight yesterday. My wife got home and uh, wanted to show everybody what this quick release looks like. There's obviously a pin that goes in and locks. Kind of a cotter pin type deal. And what I'm doing is I'm getting ready to mount this bracket right about there you see my drawings in there i'm gonna get those centered up so at the end of the day guys what i've learned with this quick bracket and thankfully um the checkmate team is very responsive with their customer service they inform me that um obviously both of the male pieces of the quick connect like the side that the cotter pin goes on need to be facing in the same direction or you're going to be hard pressed to get it off um that may be a no-brainer to a lot of people, but just wanted to add that fact in case anybody was questioning it. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and drill this other side out. Uh, keep in mind, be careful when you're drilling. Be sure you're aware of what's behind where you're drilling. This John Deere is actually, I don't know if you can tell, but there are two pieces of metal that line up and cause it to be nearly an inch thick, maybe three quarters of an inch. So. Um, be sure you have a drill bit, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, that's going to hold up. This one, this job may kill this one, but that's all right. It's going to be worth it when we start striping up this lawn. All right, guys. See you in a second. Let me tell you guys something. I just turned my drill up to level two. I didn't realize I had it on level one. Holy moly. These Milwaukee's are no joke. I mean, that took maybe two seconds to go all the way through three quarters worth of steel. Look how hot, it got so hot it, it turned it blue. Um, all right, it's time to, uh, guys, it's time to hook this baby up. I'll be right back. No adjustments needed, it was perfect. So, little pro tip for you here, you may have already thought about this. If you take your wrench, because there's a, there's a locking nut on the back. So if you take your wrench and hold that, it'll take maybe five minutes, three minutes per bolt to get it tightened up. Or if you take your Milwaukee drill, 
hold the back side or get a friend to do it, you can just, boom, done in maybe three seconds. Just make sure you don't over, you know, tighten it. But uh, anyway, let's get it mounted up. Guys, I'm like a kid on Christmas right now. I, I, this is my first time hooking it up. I want to show you how easy this quick connect is. I hope this stays and my dogs don't knock it over. Now's for the fun part. Um, let's see. I mowed this yard right at seven days ago, and we've gotten a lot of rain in that time. So look, I even got some mushrooms. Don't judge me hard on my crabgrass. It's nearly fall here in North Carolina, and I promise you guys come back to my channel then. I hope to be having a yard to drool over. We'll see, but it doesn't look bad right now. I've put one, just five bags of malorganite on like 80,000 square feet of grass. It was nowhere near enough, but it's in pretty good shape. My fescue is a pretty drought resistant fescue. Um, I like to keep it a secret what I use, but anyway, mowed a week ago with just tire striping and natural deck striping. You can kind of see the lines. I absolutely did cut the lines in. And uh, the next video is gonna be the, the grand finale to this. We're about to take this sucker out here. All right, everybody. So the sun is like literally right up in the air. I'm gonna show you. It is dead above us and not doing too many favors when it comes to the lighting on the stripes, but these are picking up really, really nice already. And I can't wait till the sun gets behind them, but I did wanna show you real quick just kind of what this guy's done with the sun not being a benefit you know how the sun's supposed to lay to get the stripes to pick up but i'm extremely impressed um just to kind of close this video out i am not sponsored paid in any way by big league lawns and uh the checkmate kit i do a lot of these videos just to help out youtubers you know when it comes to the install process and giving an idea of what things do um i you know, if, if you're a business owner or if you're a company that wants some help, if you notice that this video is to the top of YouTube, which I imagine it will be before too long, I do digital marketing, so I am really good at optimizing videos. So if you guys are interested in any help with that, um, let me know. My name's Brad, BT Willis Garage, and uh, until next time, have a good one.